watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Well, welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. Many people are in full swing with home renovations. And if you're currently tackling the bathroom, but you don't know where to start, we are going over tips that will sure help you with a beautiful finish. And joining me now for the Midday Makeover is Allison Roman. Thank you so much for stopping in again. Thanks for having me. Of course. So when it comes to renovating a bathroom, people might not realize it, but tile can make a huge difference. Yeah. So what are some things that we should keep in mind when we're considering tile? Yeah, so tile is probably the um, biggest decision you can make during a bathroom renovation. And I always suggest um, that you go and find some help, like mm. a designer, someone like me who does interior design, or someone at Clayton Tile. So Clayton Tile is our local tile store. I use them for all of my projects. And I work with a designer there. Her name is Lauren Hine. And she even helped me kind of put all this together. And I think it's helpful to work with a designer because when you walk into these showrooms it is decision overload <laughs> sure. so many fun options and then you start putting them together and you get a little overwhelmed yeah we're taking a look at things to consider too because I think sometimes we just think of tile as like for the floor mm -hmm. but where all can we put tile yeah so if you're doing a full bathroom that has a shower there's really four places you're gonna want tile you're gonna want it on the main bathroom floor you're also gonna want tile in your shower floor okay. and then you'll need tile on the wall and then many people opt for what's called um, a niche which is like the little inset thing in your shower yes. where you can put your shampoo and a lot of people like to have sort of a fun accent tile in there so there's really four tiles to consider when you're making your choice. I can see how this could quickly become overwhelming if we Absolutely. don't have that professional help. Yeah. And what's great about professionals is they know the trends. So what are some yes. of the trends that you're seeing? Yeah, so first of all, I like to get a feel for my clients if they want to go neutral or if they want a pop of color. Most people in their primary bathroom are going to want to stay neutral. Okay. And so over here is where I have a couple of options. And really, it's nice to decide if you want to go with a warm neutral, which is more beige, or if you're going with a gray. And so I have two options for you. And one of the trends we're seeing is that um, people are starting to go simpler on the okay. tile clean lines. You know, I said you want to consider four different spots for tile, but I'm seeing people choose one floor tile and they're repeating it in the bathroom floor as well as the shower floor. I'm also seeing people repeat their wall tile into their niche just to not make it so messy. Mm. So that's helpful to kind of know. Awesome. Just look at these fun little patterns right. and designs. Yeah, so here I have um, a standard 12 by 24 tile. A lot of people opt for this size on their floor. It's um, timeless and it also requires less grout. And mm. grout, we all know, is tricky to clean. And so the larger the tile, the less grout you're cleaning. And I just brought a couple of options here. So I'm going to move these out of the way. But here we have a really glossy wall tile in more of a putty beigey color. And then I paired it with a really small mosaic tile for the floor. Yeah. So this one utilizes three. So bathroom floor, shower floor, shower wall. Love it. And then um, one of my favorite trends that I think is timeless and it is coming back is the basket weave. So I actually have two basket weave tiles. This is a super traditional look that I think is going to last the ages. And I've paired this basket weave, which is a really soft gray with a soft mist colored wall tile. That's so pretty. Yeah. This was the warmer one. I feel like they're showing up kind of similar on camera. I promise in person you can tell this is warmer and this is cooler. Yes. And I'm also going to be posting all of these in mood boards on my Instagram oh, page later today. So if you want to head over there and get a little more inspiration, yeah. I'll have some better pictures. We got a cooler one. I want to talk about this one because I feel like Sometimes you might be freaked out by color. Yeah. But this is really almost becoming a neutral, too. Yeah, so I think green has become sort of a neutral in the last couple of years. People are trying to bring nature into their home, um, and we're seeing lots of green. And so I picked this really cool and deep glossy green tile, and then I've paired it with a basket weave black and white floor for the shower, but then I pulled in a really dark black porcelain floor for the bathroom floor to kind of make a nice moody maximalist um, bathroom. I know you were saying this one's probably good for like that powder room, yeah. guest bedroom, maybe stick to the more neutral, true neutrals for your primary. Yes, I like to stick with neutral and primary and then to go super bold and yeah. fun in the powder room, especially if you want to pull in some wallpaper too. Oh, love That's it. That's a good way to do it. Uh, anything we need to know about grout? Yes, so grout, um, when you go into Clayton Tile or any tile store, you're going to be able to pick your grout. Um, I really think white grout is beautiful, but it is so hard to keep clean. It comes in 
um, like pre-sealed, but it's still, you're still gonna have to work yeah. at it. Mm -hmm. So a little darker is helpful with the cleaning end. Perfect. Yep. All right, well, we have some really fun towel. Can we quickly yeah. see that? Absolutely. Because I love so this. I just pulled out some. These are actually natural stones. So everything here is porcelain, which um, is less expensive, easier to clean, but it's not your natural stone. So these are natural stone. Um, you're going to have to seal them. Take a little better care of them, but I paired this beautiful oh, gray scallop. Like petals, yeah. Isn't that beautiful with this tile? And then it comes in several colors. And so I brought a pink one um, because, guys, how fun would pink be oh, in a guest bathroom? So fun. Just to get a little funky. This is why you need the professionals because they'll take you out of your comfort zone, but do it in a very tasteful and smart way. Yes, and when you go to Clayton Tile, this is what we do. We lay out everything on the table, and it's just the most fun day. Yes, well, I certainly have fun for this midday makeover. Thank you so much for stopping in. Thanks. And for more midday makeover ideas, be sure to give Allison a follow on Instagram at Roman Family Home. And for past midday makeover segments, you can head to our website. That's foxcarolina.com. And hey, if you're doing any.